So you all have been wanting me to do my husband's garden. Was not planning on doing that today. I had a lot of things to do today. And I am coming down to my husband's garden, but it will not be to film his garden. Right. And here he comes. To be honest, he's not in a really good mood. He's got three or four squirrel traps down here, ground squirrel traps. And they do not have ground squirrels in them this morning. This is the first time in a long time. Apparently he's got three skunks and a rabbit. So I'm going to attempt to do another film footage the correct way this time on how to release a skunk. Because his traps are live animal traps. He's not trying to catch anything uh, like, like rabbits or, or skunks or even tree squirrels. He doesn't want anything like that. Only rats and ground squirrels when they become overabundant. There's his garden. Well, we'll get into it in a minute. I'm going to have to hike down there and I think I may have to take shelter somewhere before I start this video. Okay, here we go. Some of my traps can be turned upside down and they won't open. I like using live animal traps because then you can release non-target species. Come on, little guy. That's well, it. that's the first one. So this is what my husband now has to deal with this morning. There he is, getting ready to do one. Don't do it yet, Gary. I'm actually just going to pan. Here's another one. And there's the other one. He said he normally does not catch skunks. And now I see why. These are all babies. So the babies went after whatever he puts in there that normally they don't go after. They eat grubs. They eat snails. Many, many years ago I had a skunk for a pet. It was the greatest pet. And I mean many years ago, like, oh my gosh, 25 years ago, longer? Oh, longer than that, probably 35 years ago I had a baby skunk. Not a baby skunk, it was an adult skunk somebody didn't want. It always acted like a baby, it was so cute. Anyways, that's the skunk. Are you going to do this soon? Because I'm going to run if it comes towards me. Okay. Now this trap here is easy to turn upside down. It's nice. I'm only five feet from it. Oh, that's lovely. You know, from the last time I did the video, there's still clothes you've got that stink. See, this time he's showing you the correct way. We'll see if it ends up correct. I won't know till the end of this video if this is the correct way. We may have a, set, a third version for next time. It's open already. That trap is open. When you flipped it. Of course, he's not coming out. If you hear a scream, and it would be me running. He's not out yet. I'll tell you when he's out. And he's not going the direction I wanted him to go. Okay. Oh, that's a bait. Why is he going after you? I don't know. Uh, you know, they have, may have their bear. He goes. Okay, that's skunk number one. I have not turned this off. We're going to do. We're going to try to do a one rolling video, unless I go running and screaming. Okay, so he got that one successfully, and look, they didn't even spray. It doesn't even. This cage can be turned upside down and the doors will drop. Okay, well, they're trying to run home. These are three baby skunks. And this one over here. Okay, let's, I'll follow you over. This is the cage that I designed. And I can turn this one upside down, but they can't get out normally. Okay, he can cover it. I am now backing up. Okay, he sprayed the uh, plastic this time. Okay, I don't know if you could... Oh yes, I see this plastic's all wet. He just sprayed it. Now the door should be open. Okay. 
And there he goes. And there he goes. Okay, skunk number two. Okay. Just so you know, if we called the city down or the, the county, they will kill them. This one, this one I built. So this is, this is the one you actually built from scratch. Yes, if you call them, it's auto-kill. That's the way they do it. There are no questions asked. They just come and they euthanize them. Which is sad because they don't do anything. Oh, he's coming out to play. No, he's not sure where to go. Okay, guys, what happened was my camera stick was absolutely full of my granddaughter's graduation, my nephew's graduation. So I didn't even know, so we ran out. So my husband wanted to tell you real quick that the third skunk was successful. He got out like the other two, the babies, so they're all doing good. And this was the third cage that he had it, had it in with a new stick now. <laughs> okay. This is my bait cage. I had, and I shredded, I've got some screen that I had inside. Basically what I did was I put wild bird seed in with sunflower and I ha had it hanging in the back on the inside. So the skunks, being babies, babies like to try things. They put things in their mouth to see if it's food. Well, they tried to see it. They normally wouldn't go for the seed. But anyhow, they got in the trap. And this one, if you turn it upside down, it won't open. So to get it out, I wired the bottom part here, the, the clip that locks it, the locking clip. And then I got some foam wire and I tied it to here so that I can pull it across, lift it up and hold it. Then I covered it with the plastic, or, or I actually covered it with the plastic and then I turned it upside down, down or I moved it to get the skunk out. So in other words, it was a success. All three baby skunks are now back out in the wild and hopefully they don't come back in the traps tonight. Yeah, these are great traps but not for skunks. Why? Because you can't, it's hard to get skunks out of these as the first video showed. Oh, the first one when you got all sprayed, but this was very successful. This was successful. You didn't get sprayed, the plastic got thrown out now and that's all sprayed up. The babies are back out bouncing around. Unfortunately when the camera went off they came out and they were bouncing around a little bit and then they went back in and hid. So I can't think of anything else you need to say? No, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so a successful morning today of releasing three skunks back into the wild. Yeah. And we like skunks around because they eat bugs. The coyotes, skunks are their favorite food. And during the drought, they wiped everything out, all the wildlife out, and they went into the towns and cities now, and they're taking people's pets. So my theory is, with permaculture, if you let things be, even skunks, hopefully the coyotes will learn to eat the skunks again and leave people's pets alone. And nature will get back into balance. I hope so. I just worry about the new pups being born. The coyotes are now being taught to eat dog. That's what mom's bringing back for them. And now you've got the new baby cub, um, pups are all over the cities and they're hunting in packs of two to five. Some people have seen eight in a pack and they're coaching dogs out of the yard or they're going into the yard and they're killing them. It's really sad. All right, well, we had a successful morning. The three baby skunks are back out in the wild and he just wanted to show the third trap since my memory stick ran out. And this one's probably going to run out too. I need to empty all my sticks. Okay, have a great day. Don't forget to eat what you grow.